Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the anti-gravity ballpoint pen. This is the same technology supposedly used by astronauts when they go into space and need to write something down because of the zero gravity. Traditional ink, you know, it's a liquid, so uh, even though it's a very thick liquid, you have to be pointing the pen downwards in order to write. Uh, but this one, it supposedly works even if it's facing upwards, leftwards, downwards, uh, or, you know, to the right. All these different angles should work. Uh, this one sells in multiple multiple locations you can find it online for about three bucks but some stores have it for one to two bucks which is pretty inexpensive uh, the packaging here definitely shows off the design shows off it has a smooth and uninterrupted ink flow so this could be beneficial if you're writing let's say a longer paper or an essay and you need to constantly uh, you know write very evenly uh, instead of being interrupted by ink blots or the ink stops flowing that can be quite annoying in between this should uh, remedy that issue it also has uh, basic info about you know the design it has a easy grip it's made out of plastic and the back also has some info about uh, where the unit was made and again the specifications so it does look pretty futuristic as far as the packaging is concerned opening this up we're going to do a quick uh, look at the design of the pen as well as the size comparison next to some standard utensils that I have next but uh, upon a first impressions perspective it seems like it's relatively well made it's made entirely out of plastic but it has a surprisingly substantial feel to it it's actually quite heavy uh, it is plastic but it feels really solid instead of being hollow like most pens in the center it feels like everything is actually filled in with plastic kind of interesting uh, it'll be nice to kind of unscrew this and see what's really going on but there is a clip on the top made out of metal allows you to easily attach it onto a shirt or onto a backpack uh, that the top doesn't fe feature anything. Um, in order to access the pen itself, you simply twist the hinge here, and that allows the tip to come upwards. Kind of an interesting uh, design here. It has a kind of futuristic Space Age-esque uh, groove engraved onto the sides of the pen barrel, uh, but otherwise a pretty simple overall look and finish. So next to some other things, this is actually a Wacom digitizer. So this is a stylus pen. It should be a bit thinner than your average pen, but you can see here the slight size difference. We have a regular Staples pen, about the same length, but slightly, this is slightly thicker. It's also a lot heavier. It's about two times as heavy as a traditional pen, about as wide as a Sharpie pen, I'd say, uh, although still heavier. So interesting that there's that extra weight factor despite being plastic as opposed to metal polycarbonate it seems like. So now we're going to do a quick uh, test. So something I want to quickly point out is that, you know, being able to write at multiple uh, degrees and orientations, it's really going to only be beneficial uh, if you are perhaps in a car or in a situation where you have to always be writing, let's say, facing a certain direction that isn't down. Uh, if you only want to write, let's say, upwards for a few seconds for just a word or two, a regular ballpoint pen will do as well because if you have the pen facing downwards for long enough, the ink will have collected. And even if you tilt it upwards, it, it doesn't have time to all the way flow back. So you can still catch a word or two, like let's say OS reviews, where the pen still works. It only becomes an issue when you start to write a lot, a lot of text uh, in that same position that isn't facing downwards. Um, but with this one, let's say, you know, I test something out. So let's check out what the ink looks like. It should still work if I again tilt it upwards. And indeed it does. And upwards here still, it, it does work as well. So it does draw and work pretty evenly, but this is actually a it's interesting, the ink here seems a bit more faint than a traditional black ballpoint ink, I would say. Uh, it does flow quite evenly, as you can see, except from that initial part, uh, because I haven't used this pen yet, so that's maybe it dried up a little bit, but there we go, you can see that after a while it does produce a pretty even mark, no matter where I tilt it, um, but it almost seems like a, a pencil, like the color and the tone of the ink isn't as pitch black as you might find from a traditional ballpoint glossy uh, pen, it kind of shines and reflects off the surface. This one seems a bit gray, kind of interesting, uh, but otherwise it does work. Um, it's not a, a, a gel pen, so in the, in the sense that um, it's not as silky smooth as a more liquid uh, softer based pen that might be beneficial for people who are you know writing even longer material they don't want to strain their wrists or their hands by having to press down uh, this one seems to be a bit more traditional in that department but it does work um, sometimes you 
you know, even though we can write in this upwards position, you still need to press the, the actual tip to the paper to create a mark, uh, despite the fact that it will work and will create, you know, uh, whatever you're drawing out in a very even manner. Uh, and I'm guessing that the pen barrel, as far as how long it lasts, is going to be comparable to a traditional pen as well, just because of this uh, size that I'm seeing here. So let's try twisting this apart and briefly investigating and seeing if there's anything special. This is the ink barrel, and the pen itself, it doesn't seem like there's really anything special about that. It perhaps is coated with thicker layer of plastic. It looks like there's a metal ring in the center. I'm not sure if that has something to do with it. Perhaps there's a magnetic field being gen being created uh, with the materials being used here that somehow prevents the liquid from flowing freely or as freely, uh, slows down the action and allows you to write more easily. But otherwise, I don't really see too much going on. The barrel here is made out of, looks like a metal aluminum material. Uh, so swapping the refill for the pen out might be trickier if you go to stores it might be more expensive over time but uh, as far as a brief inspection is concerned I don't see anything uh, too overly different from when you unscrew a regular ballpoint pen but at least you do have the option of swapping this out when the ink does run out and it will dry out after you uh, use it for a while but anyways this is a, a quick video first look an interesting I guess first impressions look at this so spage age inspired uh, anti-gravity pen thanks for watching this video here at oh reviews.